female apparition that's been seen. It's so creepy. Objects move right before your eyes. Somebody's watching us. <laughs> She's trying to say something, but we're not on the right wavelength. What was she showing you? I can't stay with you, Jackie. No, I know. To... And I'm trying to get the story. <gasps> Alison, <gasps> Alison, Alison. <gasps> This week, the rescue mediums visit a local haunt, this historic pub in a quiet, picturesque community, where it seems that the locals aren't the only ones who frequent the establishment. We were leaving one night and shut everything off, and then the music turned back on. My mom was in the building one morning, and all of a sudden, two glasses fell to the ground. Objects move right before your eyes. Previous bartenders have, have told us that all of a sudden a TV volume will just come up. Turn it down and then eventually like all the TVs were just blaring with the volume. Me and the bar back would be downstairs like closing up or whatever. We would hear like chairs shuffling around up here. Come upstairs and clearly no one's here. Being taken for a midnight ride, the rescue mediums are on their way to help. Wonder why we've got to get here at this particular time in the morning. Maybe the night owls. I hope they're not vampires. <laughs> Jackie and Alison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. Isn't it eerie? Yeah. And really atmospheric, so it's, I think yeah. it's going to be a spooky one. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the address has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some uncanny premonitions. Palpitations. A baby being significant. William, Billy or Williams. Noises that gradually get louder. Banging, clanging, scraping, no explanation for them. We would be upstairs and then we'd hear like kegs shuffling down around downstairs. Clanging of like metal against metal. Being touched by unseen hands. Well, I was walking up the stairs um, after closing one night from the office. Felt something like kind of like grab my leg. Creepy feelings around a window. And with this, I felt that either a figure's been seen by the window or through the window. Right. I had saw a figure through the window. We were leaving again, uh, walking out the, uh, the back way like we always do. We look back inside. Uh, we see kind of like a shadow, kind of like walking around. A female apparition that's been seen and then this lady. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to find during their investigation. She looks sad to me. She does, doesn't she? Mm. Yeah. As Jackie and Alison near the filly and firkin, Brad and Kathy anxiously await their arrival. I hope the rescue mediums help whatever spirits are here, help them get to where they need to be. It's a pub. That's why we're there at this time in the morning. Jackie and Alison are the rescue mediums. That was weird, wasn't it? They never said a word. No. Psychics who make house calls. Quickly making themselves at home, the rescue mediums find themselves a booth in order to present their premonitions. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hiya. I'm Brad. Hiya, Brad. Hiya. Hi. Kathy. 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 Yes. I'm Jackie and this is Alison. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. <laughs> We're going to go through premonitions. Um, can I just ask how long you've been working here? Uh, I've been here for uh, about three and a half years. And almost four. I've been working almost four, but I've been around this building. For quite a for long a, time. But almost 20 years. Two o'clock being significant. Closing time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your closing time. <laughs> OK, palpitations. Yeah. That's weird. On Thursday, I uh, missed the shift because I had heart palpitations and yeah. like kind of like a panic attack. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very weird. Dementia. Somebody that's suffering wow. from dementia. You understand that? Very well. Um, being touched by unseen hands. 
Tess. Wow. Mm -hmm. A strange feeling around a specific chair. Yeah. Okay. okay. A feeling that somebody has just entered the room but nobody has. Oh, yes. Do your alarms go off on their own? Yes. Okay. A baby being significant, and this was in a dream that I had. That's funny that you say that. Okay. Female apparition that's been seen. This lady. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You, you recognize her? What you have her wearing. Okay. Her being female. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She has a really sort of unhappy look on her face yeah. as if she's troubled about something. Yeah. Yeah. And we really feel she's connected with here, don't yes. we? Yes. Yes. We'll yeah, cover. you'll definitely. Yeah. Okay. Next. She's trying to say something, but we're not on the right wavelength. Somebody's watching us. The mysterious spirit at the Philly and Firkin has <gasps> Alison in her grasp. Alison, <gasps> Alison, Alison. <gasps> The rescue mediums are investigating this century pub in the quiet rural community of Aurora. A female apparition that's been seen. I had saw a figure through the window. Where there seem to be as many spirits in front of the bar as behind it. Down here. <laughs> to begin their investigation, oh, Jack and Allison descend into the pub's labyrinth-like basement. Was odd. For what? I heard a noise and I could have sworn I saw something move there. Hang on, I saw something. There was somebody then. in that doorway. I saw something. No. Hello? I saw a shadow move. Hello. Seriously though, it I was did. like, it was the like door. there, like yeah, that. Yeah. Jackie and Allison push further into the multi-room cellar. Well, have you seen something again? No, I'm hearing things. Was it like a clanging noise? Yeah. Yeah, I, I heard something. Yeah. It's eerie, isn't it? Do you know what I was just going to say? It yeah. is so creepy. Let's have a look round here. Really creepy. Don't you think there's somebody behind yeah. us there? Hmm. I feel like somebody's watching us. Oh, yeah. I, I feel think like. They're definitely watching us. What's down here? What are you getting? I can see two people together, a man and a woman, and they're like lying in grass together, really happy. Yeah. They're very, very much in love. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Yeah. I think whoever it is is following us about. I don't think they're in just one area. Oh, no. But it does that horrible creepy. feeling like you're being watched. I know. Let's have a look upstairs. Seeking to learn more about this mysterious spirit, Jackie and Alison return to the main floor of the pub. Sit there. Well, let's have a look in here first, then. <laughs> Do we have to? Put <laughs> in the gents. Oh. <laughs> Someone's locked themselves in. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> that's Hello. odd. No, there's, there's no there. feet. I know, I always <laughs> want to do that, but I don't want to look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's just gone off. No, I, I, I know. I, I heard it. Somebody's playing silly buggers, aren't they? Silly buggers, aren't they? Deciding to give these otherworldly patrons their privacy, the ladies continue their investigation. The vibrations within the pub are strong and many. Jackie and Alison work to separate the spirits who willingly linger from those who are in need of their help. Joe, you know, this is really weird. 
these pearls. I can see a white dress with pearls, but I can only see from there to there. That's all I can see. That's this is def definitely yeah. a female. Yeah. Palpitations. Yeah, this palpitations with her. Right. Who is she? Got the name Anne. 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 OK. One spirit in particular seeks to be known, but the vibrations from this female spirit are weak and unfocused. What are you getting? I'm just picking up on, like, sounds. Can they, like, crackling sounds? I think this woman desperately wants to say something to us, but I don't think she's tuning in properly to the right frequency. She's trying to say something, but we're not on the right wavelength. Yes. What if we try some automatic writing yeah. to see if she can communicate on that level? Let's do it. To see if she'll connect, connect that with that. Yeah. Hoping that a different approach would establish a firmer connection with the spirit, Jackie and Alison turn to automatic writing. The ladies will open themselves up to the spirit allowing her to speak through their pens. There's somebody behind you. What's she showing you? Mother. I can just feel her there. But the spirit seems to have taken hold not just of Alison's pen, but Alison herself. Tell her to show you so where she was. Silly. I was so silly. What did you do wrong? Why were you silly? I shouldn't have been there. Where were you? I shouldn't have been there. The female spirit answers through Jackie's hand. Alison, Alison, <coughs> Alison, <coughs> Alison, Alison. <coughs> Next. What was she showing you? Jackie and Alison receive and endure the spirit's troubled past. Can't stay with you, Jackie. No, I'm I, know, to I know. And I'm trying to get the story. The rescue mediums are investigating the Philly and Firkin, a long standing neighborhood pub. It is so creepy. Where both Jackie and Alison utilize automatic writing in order to communicate with a troubled female presence. She's trying to say something, but we're not on the right wavelength only to find the spirit controlling even more than their pens. Alison, Alison, <coughs> Alison. <coughs> Alison, Alison. <coughs> Alison. <gasps> what was she showing you? I can't stay with you, Jackie. No, I know, I know. And I'm trying to get the story. Once again, the female spirit gives her answers by moving Jackie's hand. The spirit's message delivered, Jackie returns her attention to Alison. Where is he? Who are you looking for? My beloved. Don't go. Gone. She's gone. I saw her go. I saw her go. Nearly. Yeah. Nearly there. I'm intrigued. What does it say? Right. The man told me to go towards the house. I did as he bid. There was no way to avert what was inevitable. I lament with how I long to be once more. She's moved. Hoping to re-establish contact, Jackie and Alison focus their powers. She's here, isn't she? Yeah. She's behind me, isn't she? The female spirit returns. Do you remember the time in the meadow? The happy time when it was warm. A male spirit appears to aid in the rescue. He's waiting for you. Where is he? I can't see him. Look where the trees are. Can you see him waiting for you there? 
It can't be him. Why can't it be him? I don't deserve it. He's holding his arms out. You can see him. Oh, I Good. can see him. We had so many plans. He loves you. Take his hand. The female spirit calmed. The rescue begins. He's been waiting for you. Take his hand. His hands. It is him, isn't it? It is him. Go with him now. Walk with him through the trees in the sunshine. Can you see that doorway there? The doorway of light. Go through that doorway, right through that light. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Wow. I can still feel movement. Yeah. What a happy little movement as people are going about the business in here. Yeah. Got you. And that will carry on. Yeah. I think that's something that we really can't do anything about. That's nice. It's, Just there. it's quite protective, really. It's like yeah. they care about the place. Yeah. And, and the people so in it. So they're going to keep coming back to Yeah. Him. Next. She couldn't marry the man she wanted to. Jackie and Alison present the results of their investigation. That's what she died of. And compare it to independent research to see what matches up. While investigating the filly and firkin, Jackie and Alison encountered a number of spirits. Somebody's watching us. Oh, yeah. A collection of patrons who have stayed well past last call, and more urgently, a female spirit who confessed to a dark memory. And I'm trying to get the story. And whom Jackie and Alison, along with the help of a male spirit, were able to show <laughs> into the light. Now, Jackie and Alison sit down with Kathy and Brad to discuss the results of their investigation. OK, so this is the part where we can talk about absolutely anything. We're going to uh, tell you what we found and how we dealt with it. Um, and then we're going to back that up with uh, any facts that we've got. Hopefully we've got some facts, haven't we? <laughs> um, Alison got the name of Anne, if you remember. Mm -hmm. And I've got the name Anne. 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 OK. And there's a street just down the road, and it's called Dunning. The lady that we actually rescued, the spirit we rescued, is called Anne. Annie Dunning. Annie Dunning was born on March the 25th, 1858. And while still a child, Annie moved with her family and settled in the town of Aurora. They were here in 1881. They were just across the road. The rescue mediums believe that in her youth, Annie walked the very streets where the filly and firkin now stands. They also feel that this is where she met her one true love. Good. And that's her? Good. Um, yeah. You, you recognise that as, as being who she is. But Annie never married and died alone at the age of 63. We've also got Annie's death certificate, yeah. haven't we? It's Annie Dunning. She had heart problems, and that's what she died with. You know the palpitations? Palpitations. On Thursday, I uh, missed the shift because I had heart palpitations. That's what she died of. As this death certificate documents, Annie died within the city limits of Aurora on January the 15th, 1921. Annie's cause of death was heart failure. The palpitations that you've had, that should also start because you are both very in tune with her. Yeah. I've been picking up on what she was feeling. What's she showing you? But what was the secret Annie yearned to tell Jackie and Alison? And what trapped her within the corporeal plane? The man told me to go towards the house. I did as he bid, but there was no way to avert what was inevitable. I lament with how I long to be once more in the arms. And then, if you look, the signature is A.D. Mm -hmm. Annie Dunning. The rescue mediums believe that Annie Dunning's past included a dark and disturbing assault the memory of which has kept her from crossing over into the light. Alison had on her premonitions the name of William. William, Billy or Williams. Annie gave birth to a child, an illegitimate child. We know that to be fact. On September the 27th, 1886, Annie gave birth to a boy whom she named William. To this day, the father remains unknown. 
But Annie's life was totally changed forever, totally turned upside down. And that she couldn't marry the man she wanted to because by then she was pregnant with another man's child. And you can imagine the shame, if you like, in, in those mm -hmm. days of that happening. Jackie and Alison believed that the ancient shame from this dark assault and the birth of her illegitimate son kept Annie from pursuing her true love. When the gentleman came for her, she couldn't believe that he was there. She couldn't believe it was him, who was obviously uh, who she was very, very much in love with, and she didn't think that he'd come for her. Only his return in spirit enabled the rescue mediums to help Annie into the light. She's gone with the man that she loves now over to the light, yes. and she's happy. She's happy. But what have the other spirits encountered? because it's a gathering place, yeah. it's a pub where people like to share their lives with other people and once they've gone over to Spirit, they will still come back and visit. Jackie and Alison feel that many of these patrons have remained loyal in Spirit and are not trapped, merely enjoying the atmosphere. So if you feel anything now, it's, it's just your regulars coming in and out. And you know what? It doesn't cost them a penny for a drink. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> The bar now clear of all the spirits who needed their help, Jackie and Alison enjoy a little local flavour. It was great, wasn't it, that we were able to help Annie? I know, she was literally crying out, wasn't she, for help? Yeah, but all those years when she'd been trying to tune people in because she, she wanted to talk, but... Oh, we'd like you to say. So here's a shot oh. of Canadian whiskey. Thank you. Wow. Oh, I'll tell you what, Jackie, we've dealt with some spirit. Mm -hmm, we well, have. here's another spirit we're going to deal with, Canadian whiskey. Oh, I'll tell you what, Alison, that's a very wry sense of humour. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.